Alrighty, welcome back to a brand new video. So, looks like there's a uh, a brand new video for Esports Boxing Club. Esports Boxing Club is a new boxing game being designed by Steel City Interactive. And there's this channel on YouTube uh, called Sports Gamers Online. They just premiered a video two hours ago titled Esports Boxing Club Exclusive Creating a Legend. And it looks like they had a uh, exclusive inside look at how the folks at Steel City Interactive, how they create their fighters specifically. Um, they'll be showing us how they created Roy Jones Jr. So um, this is this this look, looks like it's going to be very interesting and I am really eager to check it out. So here we go. Let's go right ahead and watch the video together. Oh my God, I hope that's not copyrighted. For the sports gamer welcome back sports gamers it's the natural very excited today to that bring you guys good. a behind the scenes look at esports boxing club make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe for more exclusive content like this from your favorite sports games all right let's get that right into great. it great we were given an exclusive inside look oh. at steel seed interactive studios recreating boxing legend roy jones jr now sci or steel city interactive is the studio behind the upcoming boxing title esports boxing club or esbc for short they invited us for exclusive preview of the game and we were provided a behind the scenes look at the recreation of roy jones jr we were able to present a few questions to the project leads artist and italian native francisco primisari regarding the creative process of creating these fighters and returning them to their glory days SCI walked us through the detailed process. How do they create it, Roy Jones Jr. from the 52-year-old retired legend he is now to the champion he was 20 years ago? So the first step on the characters is to get scanned in and they research the fighter using classic photos. Oh, that looks nice. And once they have the baseline, the de-aging process begins. That includes sculpting the model, muscles, skin, and features with ZBrush. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. This right here is a part of what I've been asking for from EA in terms of uh, character creation. The one thing that we notice in EA Sports UFC 4, for example, when you try to create a fat fighter, an overweight fighter, versus a fighter that is more fit, is the first thing you notice is that the body type, the specific body types actually changes. So you can't pick a very specific body type with very specific muscle insertions, keep that exactly the same, and then um, increase the fat percentage of the body. You can't do that. The body completely changes in every way, shape, or form, including the muscle structure of the whole entire body. And what I've been asking for is we need an ability to pick one specific body type with specific muscle insertions and then give us the ability to make that body either bigger, older, slimmer, fitter. Um, sorry if you guys can hear a kid crying in the background. But um, as opposed to changing the whole entire body, changing the muscle structure and everything. So this is this is very, very nice. Like I love, love what they're doing right here. And I'm really hoping that we can see the same thing from EA. Working on various color map textures. Lastly, SCI tests the character in various lighting environments to ensure it looks realistic as possible. And that's why these fighters look so amazing. According to Primaceri, one of the most challenging parts of recreating legends is the whole entire de-aging process. It's basically reverse engineering the effects of time on the body. And this is pretty amazing. I know some of us older gamers out there wish we'd, we could de-age a few years ourselves. If only we had a ZBrush uh, and some of these tools in real life. So the de-aging process begins with the full body scan of the fighter. In this case, we have boxing legend Roy Jones Jr. So 1024 Digital Capture Studio physically scans him in to the game with an elaborate state of art uh, camera system. We've put pictures and uh, we put content up before about that. Have you guys seen that? It's the full system um, and they get all pictures and scanned in and the pro scanning studio assets come in and they clean up the raw data and transfer that data to a body topology for SCI to work with. Now 1024 then delivers the scans to them and according to them, the body topology is the same for all fighters at the start. Now from there, SCI begins to adjust the character and apply textures, shaders, and all the details um, that, that really bring the fighters to life. Primaceri takes the initial scan and body frame as his baseline 
and then attempts to keep the main body volume and overall proportions intact while removing the wrinkles, body imperfections, skin dots, and more from the character scan. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Keeping the body proportions exactly the same, not changing the structure, the underlying structure of the character's body, but then either add fat on top of the character, strip fat, as opposed to making it seem like the character was wearing a fat suit. You know what I mean? Really, really nice right here. Essentially, SCI is airbrushing the player model to make them look younger. One thing I really love about their work and how the game looks is the skin texture, like the colors of the actual skin. Like a lot of times games will just don't get this right. And you know, there's many different shades of, of people when they talk about skin texture and skin colors, all the way from light to darker. There's so many, so many shades of that. And a lot of times players will look or, or video game characters will look way too dark way too light, too fady, ashy, whatever you have it, but they've really nailed the exact texture and colors of these fighters, and you can really see the details and when they're working through that. So working with his mouse and cursor, he's sculpting some of our greatest fighters back into fighting shape and recreating their appearance from their greatest and most timeless fights. That's pretty much the target. According to SCI, lots of things. Before we continue here, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Looking at this character model right here, I mean, I really, really love. I mean, I know this is the older version of Roy Jones Jr. This is not his prime version. But here's a question. Would you guys like to see the two different versions of Roy in the game? Especially, like, even other fighters. An older version of the fighter with the character model like it is, and the younger, more prime version of the fighter. Or would you like to see just one version of the fighter, which is the younger, more prime version of that fighter. Like, do you see any value in the older versions of fighters? Would you even use an older version of a fighter? Or are you going to be just completely focused on competition? And are you only going to use the younger version of that fighter? Let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious to see where you guys fall on that. Change with age, eye shape, lip volume, cheekbones, body fat cartilage and even ear size ear size he's able to turn back the hands of time on one of the greatest boxers ever step in the ring uh, premissary gathered image references from every angle to plan out what he wishes to achieve he reviews side by side with his current fighter model to understand what to keep and what to airbrush and to stardust based on the images now from there he continues to shape the body next he revises the main muscles and facial features in zbrush to match the classic imagery of Jones Jr. in his prime. And then when he's happy with the result from different angles or perspectives, he begins to work on the textures. Primaciary works on the color map textures in Adobe Photoshop. He adjusts the tones and recreates his hairline and iconic beard. And you know the hairline is one of the first things to go with age. He continues to work on the skin tone to create a young Roy Jones Jr. skin texture and then applies it to the character model. Oh! Lastly, the artist adds in details on the arms, veins, and muscle toning in the biceps. SCI is an ultimate... Yo, that looks incredible, man. That looks absolutely amazing. That is Roy Jones Jr. That movement is so picture perfect. Wow, I mean the way he's holding his hands, the 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 way he's uh the way he's moving his feet, the position of the head, the shoulders, everything, even the little taunt that he just did. That is 100% Roy Jones Jr. Very well done. I don't know if Roy is the person that actually provided the motion capture for this or if they called in someone to perform it, but however it is that they were able to do this, kudos. Because this looks great. Production mode, then test the character Look at the, model in even different Even the way his head is lighting moving. environments with the click oh, of the mouse beautiful. to check the textures and color balances in each unique arena and light setting. And you can see here, it looks really amazing. Damn right it does. CC Reactive has confirmed with us that ESBC will feature wow. a dynamic fighter damage system. They created custom shaders and blend shapes that allows them to create the appearance of progressive damage as each fight plays out. The shaders update in real time as you play the game to demonstrate damage based on each fighter's health and damage stats. They will actually measure health and damage with each punch and each movement and then use this data to apply the updated visual textures and shaders. Okay. The net result is the fighters drip sweat when tired or appear bruised and battered after a long grueling match and that'll slowly update as you play the game, as they inflict damage, and as they continue the match. 
As you can see for the gameplay clip shown in this video, the game looks absolutely amazing. The boxers are lifelike and the details and lighting and contrast looks as good or better than any sports game we've ever seen. The graphic artists that still see the interactive are competing with the best in the world. Yes, they Who are. Sony and the company remain on track to establish their footing as a major player in sports gaming. Let me know your wow. thoughts in the comment section below. What exclusive would you like to see next from SGO and ESPC? I've actually included some gameplay highlights for those who have not seen it previously and are new to the franchise as well. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more exclusives just like this from SGO. Good job. We've seen we've seen these highlights before, so we really don't need to watch them again. But man, um, of course, nothing too groundbreaking. It's not like you know anything too crazy. But uh, you know, we're kind of a uh, you know, we're, we're, we're all kind of, well, me personally, I'm kind of an addict when it comes to eSports Boxing Club. Any little information that I can get in regards to this game is valuable to me. And uh, so th this is no different. Um, getting to see a behind-the-scenes the look at what they're doing, it's always very good. It's always valuable. Um, I'm really hoping that soon that we'll start seeing you know, gameplay because, I mean, that's really... At the end of the day, it is a video game, and that's that's what we are all really looking forward to seeing some like like a full round of gameplay, you know, something like that, like a full round of competitive gameplay between two real life players. It would be nice to see something like that uh, soon. But for now, like I said, any little information definitely valuable. If you guys want to watch the whole entire video again without my commentary, I'm going to leave a link to the original video in the description below. Again, if you've not subscribed to Sports Gamers Online, go right ahead, subscribe to them, uh, turn on notification as well, and that is where we are going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys rock. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later with a brand new one as always. Stay safe. Peace out. Done.